In this video, I'm going to show you how to make swarms of butterflies in Blender and how to control them. As always, it is going to be a quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by setting up the particle simulation for the butterflies. So let's set the end frame to a thousand so that the butterflies will last for a long time. And then let's set the lifetime to a thousand as well. And then we can go down to the physics. And then we can set the physics type to voids so that we can control the movement of the butterflies. And then set the void brain to goal so that they have a goal that they move towards. And then press Shift A. And then we're going to add an empty sphere. And then press G to grab. And this one is going to control the particles. So let's go back to the particle settings. And then under the void, we're going to set the empty as the void brain. So that the particles will move towards the empty objects. And then you can press Ctrl S to save. Give it a name and save it wherever you want on the computer. And then next, I'm going to press Shift A and add a uh, turbulence force field. And that will allow us to get some variation in the movement of the particles. So let's go into the uh, settings for the force field. And then, as you can see, we now get a more natural movement of the particles. And if you select the empty, and press G to grab, you can see that the particles now follow the empty with a bit of uh, turbulence variation. And this is what we're going to use to animate the butterflies later on. Okay, so I'm going to press Control Shift S, create a new save, and then we can go to the next step, which is to create the butterflies. So press Numpad 7 for top view, and then press Shift A, and I'm going to add a reference image. And you can find the reference image in the description. It is just a basic butterfly image. And I press G to grab. And I press Shift S to move the cursor to the selected reference image. And then press Shift A. And we're going to start off with a cube to model the body. Because we're not going to do any close-ups of the butterflies, we're going to add a very simple body, as well as a very simple animation. So we can start off by looking a bit closer, so press Del on the numpad to set this object in focus. And then in face selection, we're going to press S to scale, and then E to extrude. We're going to shape it in the same way as you can see in the image. And then just a simple head. Something like this. And then press tab to go back to object mode. And then to add some smoothness to the model, we can add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. Something like this. And then we can add some smooth shading as well to make it even smoother. Okay, and then next we can press tab for edit mode. And I'm just going to uh, press B to box select and S to scale. And then next we can add the eyes. So uh, press Alt A to deselect everything apply the modifier, and then press tab for edit mode once again, and then we can press shift A and add a UV sphere. And then press S to scale, G to grab. And we can just add some simple spheres for the eyes. And then next, we need to add a cube. And we're going to use this cube to model the feeler of the butterfly. And you can press R twice to rotate freely, then E to extrude, G to grab, and 
just press E and then to select all of the connected faces you can press L and then press R then X to rotate it on the X axis and then G then Y to grab it on the Y axis and then next we can press shift D to duplicate and then we can rotate the feeler freely and set it on the other side okay okay so now we have a rough model of the body of the butterfly so uh, next we can press shift a and add a plane and then you can press s to scale it down and then tab for edit mode and then go to vertex select and then press x to delete these three vertices so that we only have one left then press g to grab and then we're going to use the reference image to create the wings so uh, press e to extrude and then just follow the pattern of the reference image. I'm just going to speed up this part because it can take a while. So just use the reference image to create the wings. We're going to start off with the right wing. And then we can connect the uh, vertex to the first one. So hold in shift and select it and then press F to fill and connect them. And then I'm going to save one more time in case something crashes. And then you can press Shift D to duplicate this vertex. And then we're going to press P to separate, separate by selection. And then press Tab and select the new object. And then we're going to do the same in a new object for the left wing. Just press E to extrude. And then once again, I'm going to speed up this part because it can take a while. And then once you're done extruding, you have to connect the uh, first vertex with the last vertex. So hold in shift. And then press F to fill. Okay, and then I'm going to save one more time. And then you can press tab for object mode and then let's press tab for edit mode and press A to select everything and then you can press F to fill and then we can do the same for the other one press A to select everything and then F to fill okay and then next we need to extrude to add some thickness so press E set then point zero zero five and then do the same for the other wing. So E set, then point zero zero five. Then let's go back to object mode. And I'm going to save one more time. And then next we can set the transform pivot point to the 3D cursor. And when we press R, then Y, you can see that the uh, rotation of the wings works correctly. And we can start the animation by pressing R, Y, then 45. And then R, Y, then minus 45 for the left wing. Then hold in shift and select all of the uh, different parts of the butterfly. Then press Control J to join them all so that they become one object. And then when you press tab for edit mode, press L to select the linked vertices. We can now control the wings as well. So let's add some shape keys so that we can transform the objects. And then we're going to rotate the right wing. So press R, Y, then minus 90. And then we can do the same for the left wing. Press L and then R, Y, then 90. And when we change the value for the shape keys, you can see that we get an animation. So the next step will be to add some noise to this animation. So if we can get some movement, so press I 
to keyframe. And then we can go into the graph editor. And then in the graph editor, you can press N, go into the modifiers, and then we're going to add a noise modifier. And then you can increase the scale, increase the strength, and then you can press G, then Y to grab the graph on the Y axis. And we need to make sure that it's in between one and zero because that's the value range. As you can see, we now have a very simple animation for the flying. And because we're going to have many of them, it doesn't have to be completely realistic. So just play around with the noise values and the graph until you have a result that you like. Okay. And then next, we can add the butterfly to the particles. So we select the particle emitter and then go into the particle settings. And then when you scroll down to render, we have an option to render as objects. And then we're going to set the butterfly as the instance objects. And when you press space, you can see that we now have the animated butterflies. And you can, of course, increase the scale to see them better. And then before we continue, we can save our progress. So control shift S once again, and a new file. And then we're going to add a texture to the first variation of the butterflies. So let's go in to the shape keys and give it the right rotation so that we can add the texture. And then we need to press numpad 7 for top view. And then in the second window, we can go into the UV editor. And then we need to press tab and A to select everything. And then U to unwrap. And then we're going to project from view so that we get the shape of the butterfly right. And then we can add the butterfly image and use that as a texture. So press A and then S to scale. And then press S then X to scale it on the X axis. Okay, and now it fits great. And then we can go in to the materials and then add a new material for the butterfly. And then under base color, we can add an image texture and then add the unwrapped image. And as you can see, we now have the texture on the butterfly. And then we can select the light, turn it into a sun and set the strength to five. And then press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And then next, we need to edit the shader. So I'm going to increase the roughness, select the butterfly, and then set the roughness to one. Okay, I think that looks better. And then next, we can set up the render settings. So let's go to the render settings. I'm going to use cycles because it looks better. And then I'm going to save one more time and then use the GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then you can also use a background image, which you can find for free at polyhaven.com. And then in Blender, we can go to the world settings. And then we can add an environment texture. And then open the image that you just uh, downloaded. As you can see, we now have the background image, which we can use for a more realistic lighting. And then under film in the render settings, we can make the background transparent. And then you can add whatever color you want in the background later. Okay, so now we have a very basic butterfly animation with just one color. 
and one type of animation. They all move in the same way. So what we're going to do next is to add some different colors to the butterflies and also give them some different noise for the animations so that they move a bit differently. Okay, so uh, let's save one more time. Go back to solid view. Then we can press notepad seven for top view. And then press shift D to duplicate, then X to move the duplication on the X axis. And then let's open a new window. Go into rendered view. And then we can go into the graph editor. Press N, modifier, and then we can add some variation to this noise modifier. We can also change the pace and uh, the uh, speed of the movement. And then in the third window, we can change the color of the uh, texture. And we can do that by uh, simply adding a uh, color ramp in between. And then copy the material. And then change the color. So let's make this one orange, for example. And then you can change the look of the butterfly as you wish. Okay, so now we have an orange butterfly. And then next, we can press Shift D, then X. And uh, let's change the uh, face value for the noise modifier. Let's uh, change the strength and scale slightly. And then copy the material. And then you can change the color. Just add whatever color you want to. So let's make it green, for example. And as you can see, they now have both different animations and different colors. And you can add even more if you want to. But for now, in this tutorial, I'm only going to add three different variations. Okay, so let's select the emitter. And I'm going to decrease the number per particle system. And then you can copy this particle system two times. And then click on the plus sign two times. And then first select the second one. And then for this particle system, you can select this one. So that we get the uh, butterfly physics settings for all of them. And then we need to uh, select the second one and change the object. So let's set the second butterfly as the instance object. And then for the uh, third particle system, we're going to select the third butterfly. Right now, the particle systems has the uh, same settings so that the three variations just overlap each other. And we can fix this by going in to the movement under the Boyd's physics, and then just change the uh, speed and uh, so on. Just give them some uh, slightly different settings so that they move from each other. And then I'll do the same for the second particle system as well. So just play around with the settings. And then when we play the animation again, you can see that they now all move separately. And there's no overlapping. And as you can see, the animation looks great. So uh, the next step of the tutorial is just to make the final changes to the uh, lighting and so on. I think I'm going to increase the strength of the sun slightly and then press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And when you press space to play the animation, you can see that it's starting to look really good. And what we can do next is to animate the goal empty so that we can control the swarm. So we'll select the empty and then press I and I. 
and then just move the empty around. And press I. I'm going to move it here. And press I and I. And then for the uh, particle system, we're going to bake the uh, new simulation. So click bake and bake all dynamics so that we get all of the different particle systems. And as you can see, we can now control the butterflies and where they go. And then next, we can hide the butterflies so that we only get the butterflies from the particle systems. And if you want to hide the emitter cube, you can do that in the particle settings. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and more Blender tutorials coming very soon.